Hi there, I'm Megan and I go by Solar Glow Meditations. Tonight we're going to have a dowsing rod session where I will be asking questions that you guys have submitted. So if you guys have questions that you want me to ask in these sessions, if you could submit them to the link in the description box, I'll put it down below. Um, it helps keep me organized because my backlog of questions keeps growing, which is fantastic. You guys are so curious and I appreciate that. Um, so yeah. A few other things. Uh, the future is not set in stone. Anything I ask about the future can change. It's just the most likely outcome at this point in time based on the way things are going, the way people are acting, general sentiment in the uh, ether. So take those things with a grain of salt. Know that you can change the future if you want to just by changing your actions, your thoughts, and go from there. Um, also, I am not a medical professional. Please do not take this as medical advice. Please talk to your doctor before making any decisions medically. And in this case, it's for uh, entertainment purposes only. Um, other things, I don't necessarily believe everything that comes through the rods. This is very much for your own discernment. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and go from there. So yeah, I think that covers it. Oh, if you guys... Um, want to i do release these videos early for subscribers so if you want to join my channel there's a link in the youtube uh website you might have to join from a desktop computer i know some folks have had issues with that so so yeah with that let's go ahead and get into it and figure out who we're talking to if you're with me I'm willing to answer some questions could you cross our odds for yes thank you could you open wide for no thank you could you point to the direction of your energy Thank you. Am I speaking with an archangel? No. Thank you. Am I speaking with an ascended master? Yes. Thank you. Am I speaking with Jesus? No. Thank you. Am I speaking with Krishna? Yes. Thank you. Well, thank you for being here, Krishna. Um, is D.B. Cooper still alive? Yes. Thank you. Did he escape with the money? Yes. Hold on. Let's ask that again. Uh, did D.B. Cooper escape with the money? Yes. Thank you. Um, did he hurt himself jumping out of that air airplane? No. Thank you. Okay. With the phrase old soul and new soul, can the creator just make new, old, new souls whenever they want? Yes. Thank you. Is the spirit of Jesus incarnated in multiple people here on earth today? No, thank you. Does how well behaved your kids are depend on how much your soul is healed when you have them? No answer. Is that kind of a yes and no answer? Yes, thank you. Is that because they have their own healing to do as well? Like a partially yes? Yes, okay. Does our soul inhabit multiple bodies at the same time? No, thank you. Is a burrito a wrap? Yes, thank you. Is a sushi roll actually a burrito? No, thank you. Is a sushi roll actually a wrap? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is the Philosopher's Stone a physical stone that can actually turn lead into gold and make you live forever? No answer. Are we allowed to know? No. Thank you. Interesting. Is part of this story true? Is the Philosopher's Stone actually a physical stone? Yes, thank you. Can the Philosopher's Stone turn lead into gold? No answer. Uh, can the Philosopher's Stone make you live forever? No, thank you. So it's just that lead into gold part that we're not allowed to know about? Yes, thank you. Can we speak with aliens in our minds? Yes, thank you. Can you manifest someone that isn't physically attracted to you? 
Yes, thank you. Is the earth a level plane? No, thank you. Um, and there's a note around this, so not to be confused with like a flat. Is that it's still not a level plane? Is that correct? Okay, so correct that it's not a level plane. Yes, thank you. And you have more than one soulmate in the same lifetime at the same time. Yes, thank you. Will we see a female president in our lifetime? No answer. Thank you. Will we see a female president in the United States in our lifetime? No answer. Are we allowed to know? No, thank you. Uh, is it the future decided on that already? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Um, can you manifest someone that isn't physically... Oh, wait, we did that one. Uh, can you have... <laughs> My goodness, is the future good for South Africa? Yes, thank you. Will there be a point when we all stop reincarnating? No, thank you. Is it necessary for all densely populated areas to be abandoned in favor of providing spacious living spaces for each individual to achieve world peace? Yes, interesting. Thank you, Krishna. Um, do you have to follow the light when you die? No, thank you. Does compassion help you open your third eye? Yes, thank you. Does giving away things like clothes give away your luck or energy? No, thank you. Does sacrifice improve your spiritual growth? No answer, thank you. Can sacrifice improve your spiritual growth? No answer. Thank you. Does that depend on who you are? Yes. Thank you. Is sacrifice a human invention to keep humans from attaining spiritual growth? No. Thank you. Is manifesting a masculine energy habit? No answer. Thank you. Uh, does manifesting have a masculine and feminine side? Yes, thank you. Is cheating on one's partner immoral? No answer. Uh, does that depend on your context? Yes, but sort of a half yes. So context being like, culture and like agreements no thank you interesting um did cleopatra kill herself no thank you can spirits take over your body and make you do things without realizing it no thank you was the white buffalo calf that was recently born in Yellowstone intended to fulfill the Lakota prophecy? Yes, thank you. Will there be a dissolution of Europe within our lifetime? No, thank you. Is constantly being in gratitude mode or continuously an offering gratitude to your present uh, bring your desired manifestations faster? Yes, thank you. Is weight gain always related to your past karma? No, thank you. Can karma clearing help you lose weight? Yes, thank you. Is the light being who once incarnated as Pele going to reincarnate soon and keep the portal open between Earth and the other side of awareness? No, thank you. 
Can we send love energy imprint to all beings with a yes answer from the dowsing rods right now? Yes, thank you. Can we activate potential energy of the void to manifest the Atlantis and Lumerian energies now? Yes, thank you. Can Jade heal you? Yes, thank you. Can Rose Quartz bring love to you? Yes, thank you. Does every thought we have help create a new fractal of in the infinite universe? No, thank you. Is it really Krishna's heart in the Jagannath Puri idol? Yes, thank you. Is that why you're here today, Krishna? For this question? Yes, thank you. Do hive mind alien colonies exist? Yes, thank you. Are there aliens out there that have cognitive behavior like animals, insect, insects, but have the ability to traverse space? No answer. Thank you. Did that question make sense? No, thank you. Um, okay, are there alien colonies that uh, act through a hive mind, also have the ability to traverse through space? Yes, thank you. Does creating trash and waste create negative karma? No, thank you. Does accidentally hurting someone's feelings create negative karma? No, thank you. Is picking flowers bad? No, thank you. Was the monolith near Glass Peak in Las Vegas, Nevada, added there by humans? Yes, thank you. Are we responsible for helping fami family members with personality disorders such as narcissism if they refuse help and lack self-awareness? No, thank you. Will the universe feel like it's against you when you're in a relationship with the wrong person? No answer, thank you. Does that depend on your perception of the situation? Yes, thank you. Are smartphones and social media causing more harm to humanity than good? No, thank you. Can your spirit guides abandon you? No, thank you. Are the numbers three, six, and nine significant numbers when used together? Yes, thank you. Does Chinese herbal medicine already have a cure for cancer? No, thank you. Is the belief in cause and effect a false limitation? No answer. Does that question make sense? Yes, thank you. Is it as easy as answering with a yes and no? No, thank you. Is Hinduism a reliable religion? Yes, thank you. Can money trees be beneficial for the level of wealth in the future of the person who they got the tree? Yes, thank you. Is the current Dalai Lama the Buddha reincarnated? No, thank you. Did Jesus study with Buddhist monks during his lost years? Yes, thank you. Can Yoga Nidra cure all ailments? No, thank you. Are artists channels for ideas that exist outside themselves? Yes, thank you. Is there a reason for consciousness to exist? No, thank you. Can a person clear all past lives negative karma with, in one human lifetime? Yes, thank you. Is invisibility possible? Yes, thank you. 
are light and dark just different aspects of each other? Yeah, thank you. Does hair carry energy? Yes, thank you. Is pain weakness leaving the body? No, thank you. In the afterlife, can we interact with people from all over the world? Yes, thank you. Are the orbs humans see in the sky just leftover technology from past civilizations? No, thank you. Is the Antichrist's birth chart obtained by Dolores Cannon from Nostradamus, correct? Oh, yes, okay. I was an excited yes before we even finished. Um, is the spiritual side of existence more beneficial than the earth side of existence? No answer, thank you. Is one side more beneficial than the other? No, thank you. When our body dies and our awareness shifts to the spiritual side, do we become more aware of ourselves? Yes, thank you. Can you shift to desired realities such as Hogwarts? Yes, thank you. Are double rainbows indicators of life changes? Yes, thank you. Can we quantum jump using the method of two glasses of water and sticky notes on each stating our present and desired states? Yes, thank you. Will the passenger pigeon be successfully cloned? Yes, thank you. Will jaguars be reintroduced to the U.S.? No, thank you. Were jaguars ever in the U.S.? Yes, thank you. Um, are mastodons still alive in remote parts of the Americas? Yes, thank you. Interesting. Um, is water actually running out? No, thank you. Is it true that you get what you give? Yes, thank you. Do humans have 12 strand DNA potential? Yes, thank you. Do all religions contain or possess some truth? No. <laughs> Is, do most mainstream religions contain some piece of truth? Yes, thank you. Is there very, like, niche religions that don't carry any truth? No. No is in confirmation. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Um, is there a planet in the universe that has multiple religions and at the same time respects all of the different points of view without insults, cursing, killing, bullying, wars, hatred, and other fear of others? Yes, thank you. Did David Adair's story about the 13.5 billion year old being at Groom Lake, is that true? Yes, thank you. Um, all right, that is all the questions that I have for this session. So thank you guys so much for being here and I'll catch you guys next time.